Right guys, uh, Gemma Doherty posted up a video there uh, earlier on. I'll just play it here now. And uh, you can listen, I presume everybody knows what it's, what's in it anyway. So, um, I'll just let it play here. Let's hope you can hear it. Now, I would just like to say, whatever she's talking about does not happen. The day is gone where you can claim citizenship in Ireland just by having kids here. That was a thing back maybe in the year in the late 90s, early 2000s, but it is not a thing anymore. Mass deportations have already taken place on people that were waiting on citizenship from certain African countries. They were loaded on a plane in dawn raids. They were shipped back to the likes of Ghana, Zimbabwe and a few more countries. This was common knowledge. This woman is a complete racist. A complete racist. She is thinly guising her little rant on the fact that she came across an article. She didn't come across an article. She didn't even produce the article she came across. Because it doesn't exist. And if it does exist, it is nearly a decade or more ago. In fact, it would be more ago. Um, I know this for the simple reason. When this mass deportation took place, they took a lad... And he landed in Zimbabwe, still in his school uniform. Now, he managed to come back because the school fought for him to come back. And the chap could still be in the country if he is. Fair juice to him. But, this is a very thinly uh, veiled racist rant. For, uh, and degrading women for the fact that they might have children with a man that is outside the white Irish race is crazy this woman is an Islamophobe she has already went on rants against uh, children of colour that are in schools in Ireland she has illegally lifted pictures used wrong pictures used pictures of other people's pages and with no knowledge of, you know, of who or what was going on in the picture just that um, it fitted her rhetoric. She has gone on LGBT rants. She has used the fact that there's an agenda there with unicorns playing them off against children. And if you introduce, mm -hmm. let your kids play with that and unicorn, you have no right to be a parent. Um, bear in mind, this woman has gone for president, tried to go for president. She has gone in local elections and failed. This woman walked into the Twitter HQ in Ireland because of something that happened on her account and flipped the lid at staff and went lunatic. She had her little minions out saying decades of the rosary outside the door, literally. Now, here's the thing. She has this thing against black men having kids with white Irish women. But here's the deal. She's no problem saying prayers to a God who has an Arab son He's not the whole little red-haired young Willie Nelson with the beard that is portrayed in all these pictures. He was an Arab, simple as. Uh, but obviously, no problem, you know, praying to one of them. But God forbid you should come over and have kids with an Irish woman and try look for citizenship where there is none. Literally, there is none. I, I don't understand, you know, having having a go, I mean, she obviously hasn't got the rise she wanted out of uh, 
baiting children and children of colour because they're not going to know. So now she's going after the women of Ireland who might be a man of colour or whatever. What does it matter? If you hold an Irish birth cert, if you're an Irish, if you have an Irish passport and you, you are white, black, yellow, brown, whatever colour, you're Irish. This woman does not speak for the rest of us. You know? Would she stand in front of the O'Halpines in Cork and say that? Jason Sherlock in, in Dublin. There's plenty more of these people on teams right across the country. And, and, and attack them for... You know, she really picks her audience. She has very, very stupid people following her. And literally playing God because her initials are God and they believe everything that comes out of her mouth because they're so stupid. We, are, we in this country, we are literally three, degree, three degrees away from being 100% inbred because the gene pool in this country is so limited that we need these people coming over from Europe, from Poland and everywhere else because they're basically saving the Irish race from... You know, and here's an, she doesn't want these black men coming over, have babies. But yes, she's no problem with the Irish flying all over the world, and 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 immigrating to the likes of Dubai, immigrating to America, Australia, England. She's no problem with the Irish going to any of these places. But God forbid a man of colour should come into Ireland. What the fuck? No, that's go away with yourself. Just no, that is wrong. And the fact that she even thinks. That, you know, she's this new breed Katie Hopkins slash um, UKIP leader. You know, we don't need her in this country. We just, not someone like her. We're bad enough with what we have already. You know, and they're bad. We don't need her thrown in on top of this. You know, this, they shut down Alex Jones and others like this Egypt they need to start shutting her down they need to start shutting her YouTube accounts down her Facebook accounts down her Twitter accounts down they need to start shutting all this down because she should be prosecuted for hate speech and inciting hate towards certain races um, in the country but she's not because of what she's done saying she came across an article where she didn't come across an article because she never produced it she just saved her own arse by saying that and she is inciting hatred it's bad enough there's uh, homosexual uh, men and women getting the living shit kicked out of each other just because they are what they are we don't need black men, any other um, nationalities, getting the same done to them, just because she deems it so. Why? What's the point? It's not going to achieve anything. She's not going to get her white nation. You know, she's not going to get what she wants. You know, what's it going to do at the end of the day? Nothing. Simple as. Um, if she comes to a town near you, to think she can talk somewhere, Bully her like she bullies it. This this is the type of person that needs to be bullied out of a town. Simple as. She likes to bully. She likes to bully en masse. She has all her little followers to do it for her. Meet them and stop them from doing it. And, and picket businesses, hotels. If she's going to talk there, picket them. Let them know. Don't let this woman talk anywhere. And eventually, hound her out. She'll shut down, you know, Twitter and all them, they'll all come around, they'll all shut her down, and that'll be it, we'll be done with her, but she needs to be stopped, and that's the bottom line, not that the Stone Cold said so, but basically it's the bottom line, because the Irish people say so, and they're, they're sick of her at this point, right guys, that's me over and out.